Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw simple line charts in Excel 2010. So I have some line charts here representing some weather details that I have in yellow and blue at the top of my spreadsheet. I've got a chart for rainfall, I've got a chart for mean temperature, and I have a chart combining both lines on the one chart. And I'd like to be able to draw these uh, line graphs based on my weather data at the top of my spreadsheet. So let's remove these and see how we go about creating these line charts. Now the good news is it is relatively straightforward to do, but the most important thing to consider is to get your data ready first. So I've got my months named across here, January to December. My uh, first series of data, rainfall, which is in row three. Uh, these are millimeters of rain that fall during each month. And I also, in my row number four, have the mean temperature in degrees Celsius uh, for each month of the year. The year is 2011, and these data represent monthly rainfall and temperature figures in Ireland, where I live, and uh, can be freely uh, downloaded and are available on the Irish Meteorological Services website, met.ie. So first off, let's plot a chart representing the rainfall. It is relatively straightforward to do. The first thing I want to do is select my data. So I'm going to select uh, all of row 2 and all of row 3, including that blank space over here in cell A2. So basically I'm selecting everything in row 2 and row 3. And then I go to the insert ribbon across the top of my screen. And in the chart section you can see the second option here, which is the line. So that allows us to insert a line chart. So click on the down arrow here, and that gives us 2D and 3D options. And you can choose whatever one you want, but I'm going to choose uh, the line with markers, the first one in the middle row here. So select that, and then that creates the line chart for me. Now as it's only one piece of data, I'm going to remove this uh, legend here at the right hand side and make the chart a little bit smaller to give myself a little bit of room. And that's my simple rainfall chart. It shows me the trend throughout the year. It shows in particular a lot of rain that year in October. Uh, and my millimeter figures are here on the left and my monthly data on the right. And the blue line represents a line chart for my rainfall data. Now let's do one for mean temperature. And this one's a, a little bit more tricky because we're separate. We're selecting two different lines again, but in different places. So I'm going to select everything in line two, so all the way down to December, so select that uh, with my left mouse button. And then the next thing I'm going to do is press control and select mean temperature and continue to select all the way till I get across to December again. So I'm selecting everything here in rows two and in rows four. Click on the insert ribbon across the top. Once again, select the line chart option. And again, I'm going to choose the uh, line with markers option here in the center. And that creates a, a chart for me with uh, details for mean temperature. As there's only one piece of detail again, I'm going to delete this legend and narrow my chart once again. Now I can see that this is a blue line, the same as the rainfall line over there. If I want to change this color, uh, I just go to the chart layout tools and in the design and chart styles option here, I can select uh, any color I want. I'm going to select a red color here for that chart. If I want to combine the two of these, and, and I can visibly compare these if I choose, if I want to com compare them on one chart, well that's again relatively straightforward to do. This time I'm going to select everything in rows 2, 3 and 4. So select all together, choose the insert ribbon, line chart option, and again the uh, line with markers option here in the center. And that gives me, and this time I'm going to keep the legend at the side, that gives me my two lines, one in blue representing rainfall, and one in red representing the mean temperature. And I can look and see if there's a, I can compare these data to see if, for example, if there's a relationship between uh, rainfall and mean temperature. So that's how you create a simple line chart in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.